Hi, I'm John Esudas. I'm a founder of IGO Agritech. We are a precision farming company and uh, we started this enterprise uh, over a period of three years back. Now, we are a team of 300 plus agri-engineers who have set up, set up on a mission to reform and to make Indian agriculture profitable. The problem we found in Indian agriculture is it's the highest employing sector, but it's not profitable. So something is not all right. So I set up a team and we studied Indian agriculture in depth for two years and we found a lot of gaps and we saw a lot of opportunity also to run a professional company which can close these gaps and also provide a lot of future for marginal farmers and also bring in entrepreneurs, agri entrepreneurs, so who can also get a pie in the system. And it is a positive system we wanted to create. So we thought use of engineering and technology will revive Indian agriculture. And we set this journey three years back. Now we are a team of 300 plus agri engineers committed to serve the system. And we've got operations across the country over a period of this three years. First, let us find out what all the problems uh, Indian agriculture system is having. The problem, what we find the core first problem is quality of seeds. We are again stuck with years of using the same seeds, whereas the environment was, has become very robust. So what is happening is the output is not there for the farmers to make profits. So seed is a big problem. So if they have qualities, then we found out if you have quality seeds, I think they can get a better output. Other problem we found was running the enterprise as a business is not happening in agriculture. So what people do is they have some know-how from which they have got from their ancestors and they try to use that know-how in the modern age with so many pests and the environment has changed. So the crops are not able to survive or they are not, they are not able to get that output. So this is the prime problem which we found. So there's a lot of know-how to be given to the marginal farmers for them to be successful. Another problem is maintenance of crops. They are also not having sufficient knowledge about how to maintain the crop and how to fight diseases and all those things. So these were a big issue which was existing with current farming system. Another uh, problem they had was they were not using the technically advanced tools and system which globally every farmer is today using. So our marginal farmers are not having budgets or access to the system. So they were falling on crops like cultivating food grains and such crops which are not able to give the needed profitability to them. So the answer, what is the answer to all this? Precision farming is the future. So this is the answer to all the existing problems what our farmers are facing in a country like India today. We divided precision farming into different segments, which is indoor precision farming, outdoor precision farming, and rooftop farming. So what we have done as a company today is, any space which is not used, whether it is outdoor, whether it is indoor, or it is on a rooftop, we have developed projects, agri projects, where agriculture can be done on these spaces. So it is no more about an outdoor space, you need so much of outdoor space to do farming. We have revolutionized this concept where you find a space, whether it is outdoor or it is indoor or it is a rooftop. If these spaces are there, you can do farming and very profitable farming. I'll tell you, just go through the existing ROA of uh, our current Indian farmers, which is very, very, very bad. The problem is they are having an ROA where they are only be able to turn around 30,000 to 40,000 rupees per acre per annum. That, that data was very disturbing for us when we worked on the fields. So how can a family survive with 30 to 40,000 rupees per year? So it was very difficult for these marginal farmers. That is why you find all these suicides and other things happening across the country. So we wanted to change that. So what we did was, we, we asked these farmers to collaborate on these precision farming projects which we wanted to put up everywhere. So a farmer who was only able to earn 30,000 rupees in a year, when he is collaborating and working with a precision farming project, he makes 15,000 rupees a month. 
So that means on an average, he is able to make 1,80,000 rupees a year. So this is a socio-economic transformation which we were able to arrive. A family, in a family, if three farmers are able to collaborate in a project and work, they can take home an average of 5.4 lakhs a year against 30,000 rupees. And this was a phenomenal change what we achieved. But we didn't stop there. We wanted to take this across the country. So we needed a big infrastructure uh, from our end and very, very talented resource from our end. So what we did, we went on a recruitment drive to all the universities because we need qualified engineers, qualified agronomists and qualified professionals to run these projects. So they were hard to come by. So what we did was we went, we trained the aspiring students in the final year itself and from the campus interview, we were able to take in loads of people from these universities. So these are the various campus interview drives, what we do in universities, which is able to give us the required manpower to fuel our operations across the country. So, the, so what happens is the marginal farmer who was not making huge profits, today is employed in our projects and he is now turning around 5.4 lakh CTCs with three people from his family employed. Thus, his financial requirements are met from our projects. And even an indoor space, it's not only about outdoor. Precision farming, what it does is, you don't require sunlight to do farming. If you don't have sunlight, we have devised grow lights, which use the same 60,000 lumens of light, what the sunlight is giving. So those lights are used in our farming projects. So even you can do farming indoor. And you, you need not waste even your rooftop spaces. So every space which is available in India, which is not used, whether it is outdoor space or an indoor space or a rooftop space can be used for doing precision farming. So what does precision farming turn around? Precision farming has an ROA of 40% on outdoor projects. So which is quite good. You, you don't have businesses today which are producing you 40% ROA. And if you look at vertical farming inside these projects, will turn around an ROA of 80%. 80% today ROA is done. So, agriculture is the most prof profitable profession. So, it is the other way around in the current scenario, which we are transforming. And one good thing about agriculture is, apart from giving such a high ROA, and this product is required by every individual on a daily basis. You don't require fancy marketing for these products. But only thing is, we found was, a very good logistic system is required. I mean, good logistic system, and a nice uh, use of technology by creating apps and other things, if it is given uh, to these projects, the products which are manufactured in these projects can directly reach the customer at a better rate. So the guys who are running this project will be able to get a very, very good ROA there rather than landing their products in the existing system where middlemen and others are making money and not the producers. So once we figured out all these concepts, you know, where we are using farmers uh, collaborating and they will be working and we, have, we will be using all the engineering and technology on these projects. But who are the guys who are going to start these projects? So we required agripreneurs. So agripreneurs are of the opinion, they wanted to start projects, but they are busy with their current profession or they are very successful entrepreneurs already in a different profession. So these are the people who are becoming agripreneurs today. So they are investing their money in shares, uh, if you look at uh, mutual funds or buying gold or depositing in the bank. So when they saw an ROA which is at 40%, 60% and 80% and the agri entrepreneurship segment was born. So we proved them by taking them to our projects, they studied our projects, they started small and once they got this ROA, there is no looking back and today precision farming is the answer to all the problems what is existing in Indian agriculture today. So what we have done is we have created this largest hub of agripreneurs today who are ready to take on precision farming to different parts of the country and they are able to collaborate with marginal farmers. So marginal farmers are able to make 1.8 lakh CTCs. So farmers needs are taken care, agripreneurs ROA is taken care, they need a 
very very good dynamic con company which will run this operations so that is what we have done so what we have done is we have formed a hub of agronomist engineers research scientists logics logistic professionals who are behind this operations and an agripreneur who wants to start this project anywhere in india we are giving this assistance and enabling a very good roi for them in turn we are indirectly saving the life of lot of marginal farmers existing across the country now with all these operations we have produced enough because the uh, if you look at the precision farming projects they produce 10 to 20 times more output than the existing traditional farming projects so for example a 1 acre of a regular farm is able to produce say 10 tons a uh, precision farming project will produce up to 100 to 200 tons based on the category of farming which is going to take place in this precision farm so huge production is happening so what happens is these agripreneurs they don't have a route to sell the product because again if they follow the traditional system they will go land up into all this middleman and all where they will not be making money and there will be heavy pressure in terms of payment buybacks and other things so they were struggling so we found a solution for that what we did was we used technology so that you know the best buyback prices are put to, put to the projects so they were able to directly sell from the farm to the customer to the mandis to the shop and they are also exporting through the app so we so what we did is we completed the cycle construction of this projects and initially also when we identify land we use technology and consulting so that you know we ensure these projects are profitable in that location and then we construct the projects through our engineers then our agronomist will take care of this projects and they produce huge quantities of fruits vegetables and all those uh, related to farming products and those highly uh, successful products are sold to our network of farmers factory now you got lovely product you have got a very good operation module and you got a good set of company to run all these enterprises but only thing is to kick start agri pranas needed help from government so our government today is really helping with a lot of subsidy schemes and with all the subsidy schemes available a, a somebody a guy who, who wanted to invest his money in mutual fund today can easily start an agri project because government is rendering subsidies and banks have come forward with 6% interest rates for loans for these type of projects so uh, an agri pranar can make use of facilities from government and from uh, banks to start this projects and today our operations are available across the country in 29 states 7 778 districts and 9 union territories so any entrepreneur who wanted to become an entrepreneur can easily get in touch and they can start this projects which is backed up with all the service and the mission and vision with what we started this uh, projects are by 2030 not only we will be able to produce enough food materials to sustain our population growth of india but we will also be the highest exporter of agri goods across the world so this if this farming projects takes place at this pace what it is happening like today across the country by 2030 our mission of india like how china started before like he is one of the best exporter of electronic equipments today across the globe because they started with a vision and india has the right topography today like that to become the largest producer of food crops across the world for our internal consumption as well as to satisfy the global market thank you